In this video, I will show you my incredibly efficient Notion dashboard and how this setup works. All the templates to everything used in this video can be found in my Notion templates playlist, which will be linked in the description below. You can also download this Notion dashboard and duplicate it to your Notion workspace by checking out the link in the description. So first of all, we have this really nice animated cover. You can find a bunch of animated covers on Giphy.com. And if you found a cover you like, just click on copy link and then copy this link go to change cover and then paste it inside of the link option how i found this gif cover is just by searching in pixel as you can see there's a lot of related gifs and they just give a really nice aesthetic to your notion workspace next is the widgets so as you can see i have four widgets i have a clock widget a weather widget and then two buttons the first button takes me to my youtube channel and then the second button takes me to the lo-fi live stream to add the widgets just go to a website called indify.co and you will find a bunch of different widgets you can use they've recently released this button widget and there's three more coming soon but yeah just click on create the widget and then you'll find a bunch of customization options you can do so for example this button you can add the link you can add the text and emoji and then you can change the font the button layout the size and you can change it to dark mode and once you're happy with your button then just click on copy this link to clipboard go to your notion and then paste that link and click on create embed you can find a full Notion aesthetic tutorial on my channel where I show you exactly how to make your Notion aesthetic, how to use widgets and stuff like that. On the left I have a mental notes section which I usually use on my phone if I quickly need to write something down. I just click on this template button and it will create a new item where I can just type in whatever I want. Next is the monthly, weekly and daily goals. So this is self-explanatory. This is where you write down your goals for the month, week or day. And once you're done with the month, week or day, you can just drag it into archives and then click on this template button, which will create a new page. There's a full template tutorial about these three goal trackers, which you can find on my channel. So I'm not gonna go into each of them and explain how they work. Next is my project progress tracker. So this is probably my favorite database out of this whole Notion dashboard because it allows me to add multiple projects and within each project I can have all the project tasks. So for example, I have a YouTube video. So planning the YouTube video completed, which is why the progress bar is at 20%. If I complete another task, as you can see, this progress bar will update and so on and so forth. And if the project is complete, it will get moved into this completed view. Yeah, it's just really useful to manage all of your tasks and view the progress of your tasks. I already have a full video on my YouTube channel explaining how to set up this progress bar, how the formula works, how to create the link database, etc. So just check the link in the description and you will find a link to that video. Next is a habit tracker where you can track your habits. So if you complete the habit, you can just click on yes. If not, you can just click on no. And then if you're done with your week, you can just drag it into the archives and then click on this template button, which will create a new habit tracker for a new week. So next is this task table, which I usually use if it's an event or something that has a date attached to it. So I can just type in a task add context so maybe it's youtube and it's a five minute task i can add a due date so say it's today and then i can add a relation so here i have three projects so i'm gonna choose youtube and then this link database comes from this getting things done system so inside of this i have three pages the bottom one is the task table so inside of this task table you will see this task is added and the relation is youtube if I go back to the project table, you will find I have three projects, one of which are YouTube, which contains this specific task. Next is this mental Dropbox. So here you can just add multiple tasks. You can change the context, the due date, the relations. You can add them to high priority. And yeah, you can just section them off using filters. So for example, this today is filtered where the due date is today, the due soon, all the tasks which is after today 
will show up here and then the personal is filtered by the relation and then at the bottom you'll find a calendar view of all your tasks so you can move them around if I move it to the 5th of August as you can see it moved from today to the due soon and yeah at the bottom is all your completed tasks so if I click on done it will disappear and move into the completed task view so that's basically the the main page but here I just created a link database to this task table so at the bottom you will find there's four different sections where you can add pages related to that you can of course change it however you'd like but under the personal tab you will find a daily journal and here you can click on new you can select the dates so it's the 3rd of August and then this is a Tuesday and then at the bottom you can click on new journal entry and this will create a template where you can type in today's intention three affirmations three things you're grateful for and things that would make the day great and then in the evening you can type in the highlight of the day three affirmations three things you're grateful for and three things that made today great this is just a really easy and quick way to practice gratitude and journaling next is the bucket list so if i go into this you can see there's two items my adventures and my personal goals so if i click on my adventures this is like adventurous bucket list things you want to complete and then yeah obviously you can just click on complete after you've done it same goes for personal goals uh, you can of course add many more of these add more goals and just do with it whatever you want but this is just a really nice way to add new bucket lists and view them and see what you still want to do the last item under the personal tab is the travel planner so if i go into this you can type in travel dates you have a packing list so when you're packing you can tick off all of these and make sure you have everything you also have a hostels and contact list so here you can type in important contact details of hostels people restaurants hotels or whatever it is and then you have a monthly budget planner so you can plan out the cost of living travel food everything like that and you also have a trip schedule so you can type in the details of your trip the things you're gonna do events you're gonna go to or stuff like that and then you also have a embedded Google Maps so you can just click on this and then change the location and yeah it's just nice to have a map of where you're gonna go and yeah that's pretty much it for the travel planner next is the finances tab and here you will find two finance trackers the first one is for your income and expenses I have a full template tutorial about this well template on my channel so you can just go ahead and watch that I'm not going to cover it in this video and the same goes for the subscription tracker this is a tracker for your subscriptions and it will determine the monthly and yearly costs using formulas depending on the cost and whether the subscription is active or paused or whatever but yeah you can just find a video to the subscription tracker on my channel as well so next is the library tab so you can just add stuff that you like to remember or keep such as books or bookmarks or recipes or stuff like that so here you will find a reading list so you can add books the author change all of these different things the writing add links and stuff like that and then i also have a notion resources page where you can find links to notion icons the Indify widgets, integrations with Zapier and Automate.io and also links to my Notion playlist and Notion templates playlist. If you would like to download this Notion dashboard with all of the widgets and templates and pages and links then just go to the first link in the description which will bring you to my Gumroad website. This is where I sell all of my Notion templates and dashboards as they really do take a lot of time to create so you don't have to. All the support I get is really appreciated as it really does help my small channel. I really hope this video gave you some inspiration or ideas on what you can do with your Notion dashboard. And with that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.